Moths are a creature we're all very familiar with, but today we're going to be finding out how we can help them in our gardens. So Tom, why are moths important in our gardens? Uh, well, firstly they act as pollinators in gardens. If you're growing fruit and vegetables or growing flowers, they help to secure pollination for, for future generations of the plants and, and make sure you get your fruit and veg. And also the adults uh, provide a great food source for, for bats at night um, and the larvae provide food for all sorts of birds and mammals. For instance, blue tits and, and great tits feed their young on moth caterpillars, feeding them thousands of, of caterpillars throughout a season. So they're really important. And are moths in decline? Do, do we need to help them? Uh, yeah, yeah, they are in decline. Um, I mean, nationally, I think there's 28% less moths uh, around than there were around 40 years ago. Right. Um, so in, in, in the wider countryside, uh, it's, it's due to habitat loss and uh, degradation. So what things can we do in our gardens to help moths? Uh, well, we can uh, plant nectar-rich flowers. Um, that includes night flowering species such as honeysuckle, jasmine, evening primrose. Species like honeysuckle, um, they, they flower more strongly at night and provide them with a, a big burst of energy which helps them survive. It's also really important to provide food for the, for the larval stage as well, for the caterpillars. There's a whole wide range of plants that they'll feed on, from uh, shrubs, grasses to trees plants as common as nettles, brambles, hedgerow plants such as hawthorn and privet will provide plenty of opportunities for, for the caterpillars to feed. But it's not just native plants, also some of the more ornamental plants will, will also provide food, sort of lilac trees and buddleia. They're all good for, for both adults and, and caterpillars. What would you say to somebody who was perhaps worried about caterpillars and things on their vegetable patch? Um, well, I mean, in terms of moths, there's not that many that are defect to the veg vegetable garden, but really it's just good gardening practice. So limiting the use of pesticides, well, ideally not using them at all, and using netting and, and fleece to, to protect your crops, providing cover crops or, or other food sources for them so they don't go for your veg. What do we need to think about in terms of habitats? Um, really, it's just leaving, sort of not being too tidy. You can leave areas of your lawn unmown and have grassy areas. That really provides a lot of hiding space for them and also help, helps provide more food plants. Um, planting native hedgerows, just making sure that you've got a, a, a good hedge with, with uh, plenty of different species in it. Okay. Uh, and also just dead leaves. Just don't tidy up too much, really. That's, that's really important. So just general wildlife gardening advice. Yeah. Things that you would yeah. be doing anyway in a wildlife garden. Well, yeah. It's yeah. helpful for moths. <laughs> 